Mississippi Bridge Pickup. It helps if you pluck or strum it close to the bridge as possible for that twangy sound. Versus See how warm it is in the middle? So pluck it towards the bridge and you'll get closer to that tone. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Headbangers Hideout. Today we're going to be doing a feature guitar tone patch that was requested. I forgot who you are, but I remembered you. And this is going to be the first of two. It's going to be my uh, rendition tribute to Van Halen. It's my Van Halen Balance Clean Guitar Tone, which can be achieved pretty much with any equipment that you would have. I'll try to get you there as close as possible. I'm really happy with this tone. I'm using a Telecaster, as you can tell, with uh, the single coil. Uh, but I have a good tone with the middle pickup selector. Your results will vary, but go ahead and play with your pickups, humbucker, middle selector, whatever you want to use. All right, I'm using the Boss JS10, which has the Boss E-Band GT100 effects processor built into it. And let's give you a quick little demo, and then we're just going to go through the screen, picture in picture. I'll get you there, all right? So here we go. Here's just a quick little demo. <clears throat> so I don't know the chords. I don't know the song. So don't come for me. <laughs> If I'm playing it wrong, I'm just I'm going for the tone. This is as close as you're gonna get using the Boss E band, which has the Boss GT100 effects processor. So once you lock this in, play with it. The secret ingredient will be either the compressor or the limiter. So play with the limiter or the compressor settings, and you'll get closer to it. Also, your pickups will vary. But this is what it sounds like. So I'm really happy with it. Here we go. Again, don't mind my playing, but don't mind the playing. All right, here. The bridge pickup. It helps if you pluck or strum it close to the bridge as possible for that twangy sound. Versus. See how warm it is in the middle? So pluck it towards the bridge and you'll get closer to that tone. Alright, let's go ahead and begin. As you can see the screen, uh, that's why I called it VH Balance Clean. Feel free to call it whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and go through the settings real fast. And this is my settings. These are my settings in a nutshell. I have an amp, but I'm not using the amp. You're like, Tony, what do you mean? I'll show you my secret weapon. Uh, but I had to come up with it. Um, there is my amp settings. I'm not using an amp, but I am. You'll see what I mean. Uh, there's the compressor. The heavy compressor is what Eddie used. Uh, no overdrive distortion. Uh, I am using a noise gate. I do have an EQ setting. I'm using chorus for my modulations, which there is chorus in that tone. And I'm using delay, subtle delay. You can add delay or take it off. It's up to you. And I do have a reverb, right? So let's get inside of it. So and what, what I'm doing here is I'm going in. I'm choosing a JC120 Clean Chorus Amp Roland. Those are, those are my settings right there. <laughs> So 
uh, my gain is at 41, my effect level is at 75. You'll notice staring right at you is that the amp is off. So whatever amp modeling you have, use the JC120, but turn it off. You're like, what do you mean? Because you're going to get the tone and the volume strictly from the compressor and the EQ, all right? Now, if I turn this on, it may be really loud, so I'm going to pluck a note so you can hear how I got this tone. It took me forever, but I got it. Um, so right now, the amp is off, right? Now, if I put it, uh, turn the amp on, listen. Look at my effect levels. See the bars? That's too much. If I start playing it all to go, I'm going to blow up my speakers. That's why you don't want to have that. So look. That's way too much, right? So let's go back into your amp. That's why I turn it off. Watch. Let's go back and look at the effect level. With the amp off. Much more manageable. So that's why I have the amp off, but I have my settings the way they are. You'll see how I got that. All right, let's go back into our settings. So there it is. Those are my EQ settings. Again, it's off, but that's what I have. If you don't have this on your screen, don't worry about it. It won't affect your tone, but it just happens to be in my succession. In this case, I have my bright off. My T comp is at zero, but look on the bottom right, it's off. So just keep it off. All right. Next is the com the limiter. I'm using a limiter uh, for the tone. Now here is why. I just turned it off, right? So here it is without the limiter. You're all, why is that? Now you know why I turned off the amp. So the secret will be the limiter to give me the volume. You're still using the JC120 amp. Everything is still intact. Keep those settings. But you're going to turn the amp off because you're going to turn the limiter on. Does that make sense? Listen. Now let's turn the limiter on and this is where we get our volume from the amp. But it's coming from the limiter. limiter should be on the amp should be off this is how I achieve a tone it took me forever those are my settings for the limiter so go ahead and lock them in Next, what do I have? <clears throat> These are my overdrive distortion pedals. I'm not having any of it. See the bottom right? It's off. I'm just going through my screens. So we're not using any of that. Make sure you turn it off. Uh, so again, we're using no overdrive or distortion. I do have a noise gate. I have mine at 56, so right at 1 o'clock. Oh, real fast, if you don't have my knob positionings and the numbering, that's totally cool. Just use it as you would uh, a clock. So that would be 1 o'clock. So that's how you do it. 
Again, these are my settings. Lock them in as best you can. Get as close as you can and then tweak it. You're going to get the tone. We'll play with the limiter. We're going to come back and play with the limiter, okay? So when we're done locking it in, I'm going to take you back to the limiter and show you how and why I got the tone using the limiter. All right, there is my EQ settings, the first wave. There is my second settings on the EQ. It sounds really good again when you strum towards the bridge. Next in the EQ chain, there it is right there. Those are my settings for the EQ. The EQ is already locked in. Just lock it in. What's next? Uh, I am using the chorus. We're going to play with the chorus right now. This is how I got my chorus. All right. So I am using the chorus. So turn your chorus on. I'm using the stereo mode ST2. Rate at 28. Depth at 54. Effect level at 24. So real fast. This is it, obviously. <laughs> Turn the chorus off. Listen. Turn the chorus back on. Now you want the chorus on. You don't want it too chorusy. So to give you an example, mine's at 24. You may want to play with your effect level. Let's put it up at. Uh, remember, we had we had it at 24. Let's just move it to 44. Listen. Effect level, put, put it at 64. I'm just picking random numbers. Remember, we had it at 24. See, totally, it's, now it's a totally different tone than the 80 compressed tone. Let's bring it back down to 24. And then much better. Again, play with your chorus, bring it down to ten if you want to. So again, it's all your preference. I just happen to have mine at 24, so your results will vary. And again, play with your pickups. It'll work really good with single coil Stratocasters. It'll work very nicely with double humbuckers like in the Les Paul. And it'll work very well with a uh, Telecaster. Um, so I like this tone for me using uh, the middle. So I'm using both pickups. If I want to use just the bridge, Back to the uh... <laughs> All right, next. So again, this tone is achieved by the limiter on with no settings, but the amp off. So that's the secret. All right, we're almost done here. These are my delay settings. Now you can say, Tony, he doesn't use delay. I always like to add delay for ambiance. I'm going to turn the delay off right now. See this? These are my settings. I just turned the delay off so you can hear the difference. All right, middle selector. The only reason why I put on delay is that if you're going to have a bass playing, a drum playing, you want to spill the space, thus the delay. Otherwise, you can have a little bit dry and go... Nothing wrong with that. You can keep it as is, 
but turn the delay off. That's up to you. I add delay to get very subtle this. See, it's very subtle. That's why I keep it on. So keep it on. It'll fill, it'll fill the space. There is my reverb. I chose a broom. I, you may have a ton of reverb types to choose from, so play with it. I just have, only have four. Ambient, room, plate, and hall. I chose room. So those are my settings for my reverb. Now this tone sounds very Van Halen-ish when I use the middle pickup selector using both. To me, this is a little bit too trembling, too bright. But this is a great tone too. So if you want to have two bad handling clean tones, you can listen. But this tone for me, I'm using, I created this tone in the middle pickup selector. Just so you know. That's just what I hear. right here. Alright, so real fast now. Technically we're done. This, all these settings are done. You can lock it in. But now I'm going to go back to the limiter as promised to show you how I came up with the tone and we're going to be tweaking it. Alright, so let's go ahead. So in the compressor family I'm using the limiter. So there it is. Right, listen. Middle pickup selector. Let's turn the uh, limiter off. Listen. Remember the amp is off, right? Here's the amp. Remember the amp? Now the, with the compressor off, when I put the amp on, nothing. So this is the genius of Tony Fuentes playing with amps and turning them off. So again, we're going to turn the amp off, go back to our um, limiter. Now here's the secret. If I go to level 92, that's where I have mine, right? Your results will vary. Let's drop that level to 18. Remember we had it at 92? This is it. Everything's intact. You don't hear nothing, right? Because the amp is off. We're using the amp, but the limiter is going to bring out the amp. So here, Nothing, right? Remember I had it at 92? Let's put it at 42. Alright, let's go back to, let's try 60, let's try 72. And let's go back to 92 where I had it originally. My release is at 35, let's just play with it. Sounds good. Right? And there, there is that, uh, play with it. Tone takes different tones by moving the release. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I believe I had it at what, 35 or 32? That is my Van Halen Balance Clean Guitar Tone, half mo with it. This will work with whatever you have. Fractal Audio, Axe Effects, 1, 2, 3, Line 6 Helix, Line 6 Pod, Boss GT 1000, 100, whatever you have, I'll get you there. Your pedals, your rack mounts, I'll get you there, just play with it. But you need a limiter, if you have one, I'll make it work for you. But that was my secret to get that Van Halen Tone. Now whether he used that or not, I have no clue, but I came close to it. You'll hear it that is jangly and compressed when you hear the album, all right? If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below. Half my with this. Again, play with your, <coughs> excuse me, play with your different guitars, double humbucker, single coil, Telecasters, you'll get there. Uh, you may have more fun with a Stratocaster because you have a five-way pickup selector. So here I'm using the middle pickup selector to get this tone. I just think the, the bridge, it's a nice, beautiful tone. I like this tone. But uh, it's, to me, it's too bright for the tone match. So I, by putting it in the middle, I, I pretty much nailed it. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below. Thanks so much. And now I'm going to be filming the... Belusha Ethereum, the Van Halen Balanced uh, Distorted Tone, the Belusha Ethereum Tone, Pound Cake, whatever you want to use that tone. That video is going to be next, so let me film it and give that to you. I got really close to it as best I could, and again, you'll have to play with your settings, your amps, and so forth, and tweak it. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching the video, and stay tuned for more videos. Alright, I'm Tony. Click subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you all in the next video. All right, see ya.